Hey everyone, today I'm going to be going over the spatial audio feature, which is part of iOS and it's fairly new and you can use it on iPhone and iPad. And I'm going to be using the perspective of somebody that uses voiceover to explain how to turn it on and everything. But I'm sure it's, it's very similar actually to um, if you're using your iPhone without voiceover or iPad. So the supported devices for spatial audio are both AirPods Pro and AirPods Max. And you need to be running iOS 14.3 or later on either iPad or iPhone for supported shows and movies to be streamed. And right now, Apple TV Plus and Disney Plus and HBO Max support spatial audio. And I hear that Netflix may be uh, looking to also support spatial audio. So I don't, I just seen an article. I don't know how involved they're going to get and how much of the content might be supported, but that would be really exciting. Um, so to turn on spatial audio for all shows and movies, you would head to settings and Bluetooth. And then when you enter into the list of devices, you want to touch the name of the device that you want. So either AirPods Pro or AirPods Max. And then you swipe down to more info. Then you double tap, then swipe right to spatial audio, where you can double tap either to turn it on or off. And then following the movement of iPhone or iPad is on by default, but you can change this behavior by going to settings then you go to accessibility, then you go to AirPods and swipe right to spatial audio. And then you swipe right again to follow iPhone or follow iPad and you can double tap to either turn that on or off. So spatial audio does give a theater-like feel, it has a big sound. It's spread out, there's quite a range. And when I was listening, I could hear the higher pitches and the lower tones from the AirPods and they sounded really cool. And just that surround sound effect, it feels like you're really literally sitting in a movie theater and all you need is like your popcorn and your best friend and some candy maybe and silence your, your cell phone because you're not supposed to have a cell phone on in the movie theater. Like, like it's really cool. And I can't do it very good justice by describing it. You'll definitely have to check it out if you haven't already. I know a lot of people have, but uh, just from AirPods Pro, like I'm just like, wow, that's really cool. And then if you have the follow iPhone or follow iPad on and you just tilt your head or turn your head and the sound moves in that direction that you turn because if you have your iPad in front of you and the home button is is down at the bottom and then the power buttons at the top and then you're just sitting right in front of it and you turn your head it's just going in the like it says the direction of the iPad so it just sounds really cool and then um, also, if you want to turn spatial audio on while you're already watching something, like maybe you realized, oh, this is actually supported um, already. Um, like um, if you realize you're watching something and it's like, oh, well, I, this actually has the spatial audio feature, um, you would go, you would open up Control Center and swipe right to the volume and then you double tap and hold on volume and then you'll feel a little haptic feedback and then um, 
you swipe right to spatial audio and then you can either double tap to toggle that switch on or off. So that'll help too. Um, so yeah, I really like this feature and I would really love to maybe someday be able to try it with the AirPods Max, but either way, I'm, um, I'm excited to see it, to find out if anyone else has already done that and see how it sounds. But yeah, I just figured I would do that. Um, thanks so much for watching today's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.